astrologer here. I thought today I'd talk a little bit about the upheaval that the world is going through because any upheaval that we're experiencing in the world is reflected in the heavens up there. So since um, June 2012 in the sky we've had a square which is always a challenge between Pluto and Uranus and this is ongoing and it's going to be um, probably till about um, March 2015 which is next year. So we have to look at the um, interpretation of those two planets. So first of all we, we'll look at Uranus. Uranus is the planet of upheaval, rebellion, um, people who uh, don't care anymore, they absolutely um, go mad and uh, they fight for their rights, it's revolution um, and that's exactly what's happening all over the world at the moment. And so it is squaring the planet Pluto and Pluto is annihilation and if you like death and destruction and these two are squaring each other in the sky and it reflects all the wars that we're having at the moment and all the upheaval and uh, on a conscious level and an unconscious level as humanity is feeling that um, and you might feel unstable or you're not sure what's around the corner or you feel that the ground beneath you is maybe not safe especially if you're living in one of those countries or you're connected to one of those countries like the Ukraine, Russia um, or any countries obviously in the Middle East where all the upheaval is happening but also we're um, experiencing that as well because we've had um, upheaval in the monetary system and obviously lots of uh, politicians are not telling us the truth and we feel out of um, control um, prices have gone up lots of people uh, can't afford to live you know bills have gone up electricity and gas and all that is going up and then we've got this fracking, which lots of people don't like. And again, that's really to do with Pluto, because Pluto um, is all to do with the inner Earth and the bowels of the Earth. And Uranus, obviously, is about um, upheaval. And so the drilling into the ground, you know, people have said that it will cause um, earthquakes. And in fact, we've had that in the U.S., there are people campaigning not to have it, but again, you know, the powers that be see it as, you know, money and power, and so it's going to go ahead, even though people don't want it. So we've got all this going on, you know, we've got the wars, we've got, we've got the money situation, we've got energy being a bit of a problem, uh, you know, so we all feel it on a, you know, on an unconscious level and a conscious level, we feel unstable. This actually isn't going to end until, this square is not going to end until um, March next year. So it's been a three year period of upheaval and at the end of it, well, uh, we might feel better after the actual square has ended because a square is always a challenge for us and so, you know, we do feel that, all of us you know, trying to earn money, trying to keep uh, body and soul together, trying to be healthy. It's not always easy either because they, you know, there's fluoride in the water and, you know, things that, uh, you know, we don't like, like the fracking. So, you know, we've got to be ahead of the game really and try and be um, calm <laughs> and, uh, you know, have a, have a balance if we can. So um, I hope that that's helped you today and uh, not hindered you. And uh, this is Sue Fletcher signing off and I'll speak to you again.